Hey there, it's Tara Sage and it is hot. Oh my goodness, it is so hot here today. I'm in Northern Florida and it's a rather uh, appropriate temperature for today's topic, which is about have you reached your boiling point? So again, this is Tara Sage of TaraSageCoaching.com. Hello, hello. And uh, my company, Tara Sage Coaching, is devoted to helping you live your dreams and create a life and business that you don't need a vacation from. And as I shared, it's really hot here, and I'm going to talk to you today about boiling points. So it seems rather appropriate. Hello, hello. And I'm wearing a bathing suit because that is seriously all I could muster to put on for you here today. So shoulders up. That's all you need to see. Um, so as many of you know, uh, my, my dad passed away last week. And obviously it's been a very emotional week for me, for my family. And I just want to extend a great big thank you to so many of you who have reached out to me. Um, I've been blown away, honestly. Like just this morning, I got two messages from childhood friends, the kind of messages that just um, blow your heart wide open, you know, those kinds of messages. So I'm, I'm just so immensely grateful and I feel so blessed to have such incredible people in my life and I want to say thank you for those who've reached out. Um, it's been tremendously healing for me to share uh, some of the stories of my dad in a eulogy that I wrote for him uh, last week. and. If you haven't seen it yet, I, I hope you'll check it out. It means so much to me that people, it's so hot here, that people are reading it. Uh, so if you would read it, uh, you can find it at my uh, blog, terrasagecoaching.com. Go to blog and you'll see the eulogy that I wrote for my dad. And in it, I shared one of the stories uh, is about how he accomplished such an extraordinary thing of running a marathon at 50 years old against all odds. And um, it's a really extraordinary story. I was a little girl when it happened. It stayed with me and it touched me very, very deeply. And I shared it because I know it's also touched so many people that I've shared it with and I hope it will do that for you and really inspire you to do things that you thought you couldn't do um, because you can. You can beat the odds. So again, I hope you'll check that out, terrasagecoaching.com. Go to blog and you'll see the eulogy for my dad. <sighs> so today, as I drip with sweat, I am going to share a different story with you. Um, and this story is uh, about a frog. Okay, so stay with me on this. It's about a frog. It is said that if you uh, were to drop a frog in a pot of boiling water, it would immediately jump out. Now, why the heck would you do that? I know. But if you were to put that frog, it is said, in a pot of uh, room temperature water, and then very, very slowly, one degree at a time, bring that to a boil, um, that frog would stay in the pot and die in that pot. It's an odd experiment and <laughs> it's one that I have no intention of testing myself, uh, but there's a really important lesson in this story for all of us. And that is that despite, you know, being far smarter than frogs, What's commonly done is people deal with situations in the way that they're gradually becoming more and more uncomfortable, but they stay in that pot, right? So some of the things we say is, it's, it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad, or, uh, you know, others have it worse. Who am I to complain? Have you ever said any of these things? I want to hear from you. Have you ever said any of these things about times and places in your life where you're feeling really, really uncomfortable with circumstances around you? Post in the comment. Let me know. Give a thumbs up if you're feeling that. 
So some even say things like, well, you know, at least the lid is on the pot. At least the lid is on the pot. Mm. Yeah. So all thoughts that really keep you complacent and staying in whatever pot in your own life is slowly reaching its boiling point. You got that? So I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Are you willfully ignoring a situation in your life that has you acting like a frog in a slowly boiling pot? Let me ask you that again. Are you willfully ignoring a situation in your life that has you acting like a frog in a slowly boiling pot? Willfully ignoring increasing levels of discomfort keeps far too many people stuck staying in the pot. So my challenge for you today is to honestly check in with yourself and to do that right now. Now, not later. No later game on this. Resist telling yourself that this message is for other people, not you. No, it's, it's for you. It's for you. If you're watching, there's a reason you're watching. So have an honest look. Where do you see yourself in this? Where in your life right now are you being a frog in a slowly boiling pot? Now, far too often, people let their dreams die in that pot. They stubbornly stay put in a job or a home or a relationship that doesn't feel good to be in. And instead of taking action, what do they do? They hope, right? They hope that it'll improve. All while maybe complaining about the situation to other people, uh, often other frogs who are in the same pot with them, all while waiting and hoping, even praying for something to change. Where do you see yourself in this? Because the truth with a capital T is that if you don't take action, nothing will change. Yet here's what often happens instead. Instead of spending energy on doing what is needed to change that situation and create a new experience for your life, too often people spend their energy instead on adapting to the water, getting another degree hotter. You got that? Again, where do you see yourself in this? Too often, instead of doing what's needed to change the situation, people do what's needed to adjust to the heat, to adjust to the circumstances. And I am telling you this, apathy and denial are dream killers. Apathy and denial are dream killers. And life is a short affair. Right? None of us know how long we have here. So instead of all that, instead of passively letting that pot reach a boil, and instead of waiting for later or someday or waiting for circumstances to change, you have the opportunity to be proactive right now, right now. Now, if this message speaks to you, I want you to know and point out the obvious, which is that I am a resource. And I'm here, I'm here to support and I'm here to serve you. And I offer a complimentary session. So there's no excuse not to explore the possibilities together. And then based on our connection, I'll make some personal recommendations for you. That's how it works. Now, as maybe overconfident as this may sound, whatever, 
I am a force for change and I am a fierce facilitator of action. And I'll tell you the death of my father has only further reinforced that and further reinforced my commitment to this work in the world. And I'm not messing around, you know, um, I'm here to serve and I have the intention to serve thousands and thousands more people in my lifetime. And again, uh, none of us know how long we have here on this earth. So I need to not be shy and I need to be proactive as well about my intentions. So just being transparent here, if this speaks to you, I invite you today to go to sessionwithtara.com and claim a complimentary session so that we can chat one-to-one. -one. This way we can explore those possibilities, I can really hear what's happening for you, and I can make some personal recommendations for you so that you're moving from that place of adapting to those increasing levels of discomfort in your life, whatever they are, to living your dreams and creating a life that you delight in so friggin' much that every day feels like a joyous, fulfilling, satisfying, life-enhancing gift. And that's what these days are. So again, I invite you to go to sessionwithtara.com and take me up on a session if that speaks to you. So, man, it's hot. I'm going to have a drink of water, toast to you. Mm. Are you reaching your boiling point? I sincerely can't wait for the opportunity to connect with you personally, one to one. That's my favorite kind of conversation. So that's it. Let's do this thing, <laughs> shall we? Thank you for watching Tips from Tara, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.